We're here at the CES in Las Vegas, where technology is changing advertising. We're doing a series of video interviews with Video Amp, where we're talking to technologists and thought leaders about measurement, about attribution, and about data, and how they're revolutionizing advertising. Advanced TV is the ability to utilize video in order to, one, do different sequencing of messages, to reaching different types of consumers, to giving much more interaction with consumers. It's actually a very big area. All too often we try to lump it together, but there are many different factions in there. Uh, I, I like to think of it as video. So I don't like to think linear or uh, digital because it's really the video content that goes to the consumer where, when, and how they want it. Because that's the ultimate challenge for us is to give the consumer the opportunity to see what they want to see, where, when, and, and how, and to allow them and get permission to have our commercial messages on behalf of our clients in there to help them get it. I think we're getting closer and closer to getting beyond just the demographics. In a lot of situations, we are targeting on advanced behaviors or attitudes or past purchase behavior. However, because of the limitations of the distribution, we actually transact still on the traditional demographics. But that doesn't mean that's how we're actually targeting, selecting, or evaluating our buyers. I believe that the technology is there. The real hard part is putting it together, getting a research company to actually, because it's got to be third party. I, I need much more holistic. We have a lot of little pieces, but the technology is there. We just need people to get behind it and get past some of the uh, internal political issues, some of the financial issues, because ultimately the consumer has to have the message in the right manner. I don't want to over uh, weight them in certain areas. I don't want to get them annoyed with my clients. So I really want to be able to do it on a much more holistic basis. Well, automated contact recognition, much like a different product in a different manner like Taxi, which will allow us to understand where the content is no matter where it might migrate. It's very important because in today's environment, the content can migrate almost anywhere and without something to be able to identify, we'll never know all the areas it could be in. And if you don't know where the edge or the program is, there's no way to measure them or aggregate them. Well, I think what the CFLY is really putting together uh, disparate research, disparate uh, screens or uh, streams of where the ads can be and putting it together. I think it's a step forward. I think the ultimate is being having a much more seamless one where the work and the analysis is, is done behind the scenes, third party trusted, and it's easy for me to analyze views as well as my co colleagues in the other agencies on behalf of our clients. When I go on CES, what I'm really trying to do is we all know the guys in the front booth and I'm gonna see them and I'll look at what they do. What I'm really interested in is some of the technology, some of the different things that may be in the back or maybe not be in the main, main uh, convention center because I'm trying to look at what that technology that I could use in the future. Because there's a lot of technology out there, you know, there was pattern recognition, visual recognition. Those weren't necessarily seen as uh, technologies for consumer uh, advertising. But we need to see that and see what the applications are beyond that. So I'm actually looking at much more of the upstarts in the back for ideas on what we can bring to the marketplace in the next several years.